All right, I'm gonna show you guys something you've never seen before. Watch this. It's called rain. Yeah, rain. Never seen it. One eternity later. All right, guys. I made a, a promise to myself that I was going to stay on schedule this year. And so uh, today was the day I had slated to start practicing, learning how to endo, which would lead me to um, being able to endo 180 and also start learning how to nose manual. Winter came last night. It's cold. Is going to be a challenge because I really want to install the front brake on the dirt jumper and uh, try to get some practice in doing uh, endos and uh, 180 stoppy. I'm gonna have to find somewhere that's isolated from this wind because it's it's not even above freezing yet. So I got to notice that the uh, my part was delivered. So I've already positioned the lever and kind of tidied up the cable. I'm actually routing the front brake cable around the back uh, of the crown. So in between the, the bottom tube and the crown because these Manitou Circus forks, they have the brace uh, or the arch installed on the back of the fork so it makes for some interesting cable routing so I've kind of just laid it out right now so I think I'm gonna go with this layout I have it has a tie down point here but nothing here so I just added something to the crown and I'm running it behind and uh, just connecting it here it seems like the SRAM code uh, brake hoses are a little bit shorter than Shimano's I don't know if that's a, indeed a fact but um, I didn't have to shorten this brake hose at all and it's probably even too short to even do a, a bar spin with the way I have it routed, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that. So this Manitou Circus fork is built for a 160 millimeter front rotor, and the only thing I have is a 180 millimeter rotor, and so I'm going to use the 180. So in order to get the caliper spaced correctly, you can see that's as far as it'll go. You need a 180 post to post mount uh, adapter there and that's what I've been waiting to uh, to receive in the mail and that came in today I'm going to unpackage that and get that installed my hands are cold so I'm using my riding gloves as uh, wrenching gloves so this is the Shimano front uh, 180 millimeter post to post mount adapter that I need. So I'm going to install this in the Manitou there and get the caliper mounted. And it's chilly. things work is these spacers here they're made to move see, let me take the glove off I see these on wrong on uh, a few bikes riding around and it really allows the caliper to move around so you really want to install these uh, these pieces like this so this would be the first piece on the bolt and the dist section here should be facing down the flat section should be bumped up against the flat washer of the bolt and then this other piece here is it has a, a dish in it as well so you can see it's kind of dished out there so it's meant to go on 
and kind of ride inside the other piece that's dished out on one side and so that allows the caliper to move or flex as needed and uh, we're going to do that for both bolts so again the, the flat piece with the concave dish flat piece goes up against the flat washer concave dish there and then this piece rides inside that little concave there so I'm not going to use the little wire tie downs that they've already got thread locker on them so I'm not doing any true mountain biking here so the other thing I noticed too on these spacers there's always an up arrow so you want to make sure you install this the right way um, you know it's kind of hard to install it backwards but uh, definitely want to make sure you do it the right way all right so let's move over to the bike So we'll get her up sign there. These are the, uh, I believe these are the bolts that are made for the XTRs. This is a little bit lighter, a little bit smaller. So that's why I got uh, the MA adapter. So once I get these close, I'm going to leave a little bit of play in there so I can center it over the rotor. Everything's Super cold and hard to Alright, now we're gonna I'm gonna lift the front end up and uh, squeeze the brake and that'll get it centered over the caliper. Uh, I'll just tighten down. So I'm going to cheat and do this to simple way. So I'm holding the brake lever right now. And just give this a good torque down. So that's our caliper with our spacer and we've got our hose routing. So now that I've got that installed, i got to go find somewhere where I can actually try to practice that I won't freeze to death and that my hands won't fall off. So somewhere out of the wind. It's going to be interesting because just uh, working in the garage here is super cold. I am going to... Uh, See, it's not really that cold, it's the wind. Um, the wind just kind of cuts right through you. So I'm going to try to put as much uh, wind protection on as possible. Um, and then I'm probably going to stuff some of those in various areas along my clothing. And hopefully um, that'll be good enough. I don't know how long I'm going to last, but I'm going to give it a shot. I found a spot which I think may work down at one of the local parks here. Um, so I'm going to drive down and uh, take a ride out to the park and see what happens. So let's get it going. Popo. Rup, rup. I am out at the park and uh, I'm not sure if I can be out here or not, but uh, you can tell how windy it is by looking at the breeze there. So I decided to do something a little bit different today. Instead of showing week one of learning the skill, I'm going to show day one. So day one, this is it. Um, so you, 
get to see the real struggle. And uh, I tend to set very little goals on day one, mostly just to get familiar with being uh, in an uncomfortable position and figuring out where the balance point is on the front wheel and being able to lift up with less of the brake, the front brake, and more of the motion of me squatting and then thrusting my weight up and over toward the handlebars um, and just get used to feeling like that and then all the pains that are going to come tomorrow morning when I wake up from doing that. Um, so that's some maybe balance up for like one second. That's all I want to do. Um, and mind you, if I look like a an NFL player right now, it's probably because I'm padded up like one. Forgot my elbow pads, and uh, I just don't ride without elbow pads anymore. You guys probably saw my last crash. Uh-uh, not gonna happen. So uh, I reach for the next best thing I have, and uh, which is full body armor on the top here. So. So just trying to figure out the right amount of kick and the right amount of brake modulation. It's going to take a while. I took this little toe heating pad and I put it in the bridge of my goggles while I'm sitting here. It warms my mouth up and my nose. That's all I'm gonna do for today. But I got a few in there and uh, I didn't quite reach the one second balance point on the front. But I think I'm a little bit closer to understanding how much oomph it takes for me thrusting my weight over the bars and realizing it takes very little brake pressure if you do that. And you know, obviously there's guys that ride uh, nose manuals and do endos with, uh, without using front brakes at all. So is possible so just got to figure out what that balance point is and then what I want to try to do is tie this trick together with fakie and then also real wheel rear wheel hop hope you guys are having fun hope it's warmer where you are if you like the content give me a thumbs up if you don't like it give me a thumbs down either way just let me know you're out there you're watching and if it's the first time to the channel or if it's a repeat time you're coming back and watching one of my videos and you haven't subscribed yet do me, uh, do me a favor and go click the subscribe button. Share this link with your friends if you think it's worthy. And uh, you know, click that bell for post notifications. You'll get all the new uploads notified directly to your phone, iPad, whatever, Android device, PC, whatever you're using, laptop. So you guys know what to do. Until next time, skill up and ride.